Watch my pal Matt. Uh, Mike, put on a different hat and see what's going You'll on. You'll get it right so. one of these days. That's okay. Well, they both give him the M and well, I'm I was old. gone for three years. It's fine. I get it. Hey, this morning, Ed, we're talking. We're joined by Heather Pierce, who's joining us from uh, Blunt Memorial. Good morning to you. Good morning. And we don't have any food today. No. You're not bringing us food today? No, what's no going food. on? <laughs> Why? Because she's sharing five tips to mentally prepare you for weight loss. You know, it's funny that we talk about that because mm -hmm. I think a lot of times we talk about the foods that we should or should not eat or right. how much and right. how little, whatever. But you actually have to get into the game. Yeah, yeah. Mentally prepare. Psych yourself up for it. Right? <laughs> right. We do it for everything it's else, so why not? Working out. Yeah. I'm always like, okay, I'm going to yeah. do it. I'm going to do it. I don't right, do it, right. but that's a whole other story. We won't go there. <laughs> uh, anyway, so mentally preparing. Mm -hmm. how, what do we have to do? Well, number one, I think a goal. Think of what your goals are. I think number goals are fine, but think about these other things like, do you want to get in the floor and play with your kids and be able to get back up? Yes. Something that's meaningful. Goals do need to be meaningful. They, uh, health is a good goal because just, I mean, yeah, sure, you can say, hey, 50 pounds is what I want to lose, but if you break that up into 5% increments, each 5% increment will help you reduce blood sugar, that's measurable, reduce blood pressure, that's also measurable, maybe even cholesterol too. Mm -hmm. So that, so I think that ha having in mind, so if you think of, you know, not thinking of too big of an overwhelming so goal. So bite off more than you can chew. Right, right, because, you know, I think we all are overwhelmed by, you know, needing to lose 50 or 100 pounds. Anybody would be. Absolutely. So you've got to think about it in smaller chunks at a time. I work with weight loss uh, patients, surgical and non-surgical. So, I mean, work with a wide variety of folks and see a lot of things. But I do see that if you just achieve those small goals at a time, it gives you that confidence to make more smaller goals. Because so, you start seeing progress. Right. Right. And once you start seeing that and feeling it, uh -huh. then that's when you're on the wagon. That's right. You know that's what right. I mean? And right. then that's when it's on. really easy. But I think, yeah, you're right. It's hard yeah, to get it's, started, it's but get, yeah, the getting mental there. part is really tough. Right. And preparing your environment, too. So, sure, there, you might call this a, an ambush. <laughs> I don't know. That's one of those, that's you okay. know, yeah. those foods. And I think healthy foods can be overeaten, too. So, it's whatever those things could be. You know, try to remove them, but replace them with something healthier. you got to replace you can't just say, I'm not going to drink sodas again without getting some bottled water or something that you're going to drink. Because you, know? <laughs> cause you can't just cold turkey things. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. you got to mentally have something else to look forward to. Right. So, you know. So give us, so give us a bad and a replacement real quick. Um, well, the soda. Soda, what would you uh, replace it with? You know, and a lot, of, a, lot of folks, a lot of folks don't like water, so maybe a flavored water. That, Fruit infused water is awesome okay. too. So I think that would be a good, or at least alternate. Yeah. I, you know, the, it's funny that you say that. I do know more people that just don't like water. Yeah, yeah. Last time I, I, I saw, the water didn't really I have get a taste. It. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so, Maybe we're yeah. just so used to having some sort of taste in our mouths. Exactly. You go to water, you're like, bleh, it's bland. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, so you might need a little transition of flavor <laughs> in there, too. So ask for support from family and friends. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people miss that step. Uh, plan ahead those meals and snacks. So you have to think about where your plan is before you go into the week, you know. Um, meal prep. Yes, meal prep or whatever, and and also it's put saving money at the grocery store too. Just doing that. Yeah, yeah. Online shopping has saved mm -hmm. me a ton of money, uh, but put an activity on your calendar too. Is is because that, that if it's on your calendar or you'll do it. Yeah, you'll do it. If it's not on your calendar, it mm -hmm. never happens. I mm -hmm. tell my friends all the time. Yeah. You want to take a vacation together? Cool. Let's put it on the calendar. You have if you don't to put do it on that. there. It's not it's, going to happen. You're right. Life you just keep just talking about it. <laughs> so, right. Another thing would be just think about, you know, if you're going to ha adopt a healthier diet, make it a lifestyle choice, not something temporary. Yeah. It has to be that it's word be lifestyle. lifestyle. Uh, number four, visualization. Visualize what that healthier plate's going to look like. Visualize yeah. packing a bag, taking it into the gym, walking in. If you walk in the door, you're probably going to do something, yeah. <laughs> more than likely. Yeah. So, but if you have a problem with visualizing those things, that might be where you need help with a, a registered dietitian or a physical or a right, right. physical therapy, uh, personal trainers, things like that that, that can help you Absolutely. get there. <laughs> we are, we're out of time. We Last are. Time state it. Okay. Of it is expect to fall off the wagon because you it's, you know, it's going to happen, it's but gonna, get back on. Heather Pierce, thank you thank so much you. for joining us this morning. There we go. Five tips right there. Well, the countdown to kickoff, the preparations the Vols are making for their first game. You believe this in just 10 days. Stay with us.